<laughs> so um, I guess let's let's talk about I, I, this is one of the best questions that I always ask. What was the first game that you remember spending hours playing? Um, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. So I feel I, I want to get into Final Fantasy. Unfortunately, I have not been, but it's not due to like I don't like the game. It's just when, but at the time where I wanted to get into, I'm like, I'm so far disconnected from what the storyline is. I feel like I'm going to be lost because I know Final Fantasy is such a huge game. So I want, so what got you into Final Fantasy? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say anything specific because it's, I was just a gamer. My brother played games. I like, we had every game. We, we played, we had the Atari. So we played like Pac-Man and stuff. Then we had the Mario. We had, uh, you know, we did the Nintendo thing, Sonic, Mario, all that. But, you know, with PlayStation, it was like Final Fantasy, um, Musashi, like those story mode games. Um, of course, we did like the Street Fighters. I, I don't know. We just loved games. That was our thing. So I can't say nothing specific led me in that direction. I, we, we read comics. We watched like those cartoons, Power Rangers, Street, like all of that. And um, we played video games. That was just our thing. So you brought up Street Fighter. What's, what's your, who's your go-to character? Honestly, I can't even remember. I feel like I always, I don't want to confuse these characters. I may be on the wrong game. Don't forgive me if I am. Remember Jack was... Oh, the black dude with the, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jack. So I like Jack. And then um, it was one with like a little mohawk. Um, He was super slow. I I cannot remember these. Who? Who? Dang Geef. He was swole tattoos. Tattoos with a mohawk. Okay. See, I would have never came guess <laughs> that game. Like, it's been years since I played that. But Street Fighters was everything at one point. Like, everything. But, you know, I, I haven't played it in years. But, like, the way we do our intro. So, we started changing up. So, last season of this interview series, the intro was, like, kind of looking like Street Fighter. Like, Street mm-hmm. Fighter. I saw that. Now the intro got a Mortal Kombat style look to it. And everything. Yeah. That's what we got it. That well, the was my game too. Yeah, no, did, did you like the movie? Oh, I did. I watched the last film. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I'm I'm ready for the next one, to be honest with you. I'm curious to what they're gonna do. And I, I like the old Mortal Kombat too. Even though when you go back and look at the old Mortal Kombat, it's like, dang, we loved it. This looks so like uh, it just, you know, it just it's it's a 90s film. So it's funny because like when you think about like some of the older properties that we have, the fandom was just so big. Cause like we, I was recently watching the older X-Men, like when the ones that the X-Men that started and watching the, that older X-Men Wolverine's claws looked it so horrible now compared <laughs> to like, what we, like, you know, we see like transformers and the new Marvel movies and how realistic they look. It was clearly CGI. And that was just what probably like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. But it just looks so horrible, but it was like we loved that. Like Hugh Jackman, as we, loved we loved it. We loved that, you know, that X Men at that moment. So it's the same thing with like that, um, that Mortal Kombat. Like even when you see Scorpion, his his um, spirit come out, it looks so bad. But I remember at that time we were so geek. We were so geek. Or remember, um, the guy with the arms, um, yeah, yeah Agora. We loved him. It was like, oh yeah, here, here come that scene. You know when they fight and. Oh my God, when you go back and look at it, you're like, dang, I love this. But you know what? The graphics for the updated one, it looked good. It looked really good. I mean, I didn't really like the main character because I was like, we don't need new characters. I didn't. Like- Everybody felt that way. And honestly, I initially I felt that way, but I was like, I kind of saw how they was going to tie it in. I'm like, I think they're going to tie it in this way. And, and there's going to be some type of relation here. I want to say, yes, we do not want to see new characters, but you know, when it's a remake, they have to do a twist and we may not appreciate it now, but we might appreciate it later. I know I, I, one of one of my uh, other podcast hosts, he said that he liked it because he said that guy represented like, you know, if you just told a regular person about Mortal Kombat in the real world, they don't know what the hell is going on. So they got to be like, so they was like, he was that person. He was the regular American person who got introduced to this long lasting war. And so th- that was literally like us. I can appreciate that perspective. Yeah. yeah. I can appreciate that a lot, actually. Yeah. I, I mean, when he, when he broke it down that way, I'm like, I can, see, I, I get it. I just didn't want it at that time. I just want Yeah, we, we don't. Yeah. I no, I see it from both sides. Cause you know, I watched it with somebody and then I, um, I spoke with my uncle about it and I'm like, cause we always talk about like 
shows like that, movies like that and stuff. And he was he said the same thing. He was like, you know, it I don't, I don't really care for this new character, but you know, it's it's a little bit of a twist. Let's see where they're gonna go with it. 